I am writing this review as a hobbyist rather than professional photographer, that is, that sells photographs for a living. My first 5D was the Mark II, and I've used the Mark III for over 3 years myself, and instead of going through all the nitty-gritty of the Mark IV which you find elsewhere, I'm going to speak to mostly to the differences I've found in my day-to-day -day experiences and whether it's worth the upgrade for the hobbyist. First off, coming from the Mark III, the fourth on the outside is very much similar and you could mistake them at a glance. The differences include a slightly rougher cap on top of the new Mark IV body, where the Canon brand label sits, whereas the Mark III had the same material extended from the body over the cap. Perhaps it's a new material housing to play more nicely with the GPS slash Wi-Fi. There's also new switch to toggle face detection in live view mode in the back. The mode switch dial is also the newer Canon styles that bumps up a bit rather than the more flatter design of the Mark III. Otherwise, for those coming from the Mark III, you can feel right at home picking up the Mark IV for the first time. In terms of shooting, I personally find the viewfinder to be brighter on the Mark IV than on the Mark III. This could just be my units and maybe a bit of dust on the Mark III. But using the same lenses, I find the Mark IV viewfinder a joy to use, much like the Mark III's, and even a shade brighter. The new dual pixel AF works as advertised, and is much faster than the Mark III at face detection and toggling between different subjects, a big improvement here. The back review LCD is also a touch screen now, which allows for your standard panning of shots as well as pinch and zoom. Although many shooters will still opt for the familiar mechanical buttons, as a hobbyist that shares the camera for others to shoot as well as reviews them on the spot with many moms with Android slash iPhones, it's so much easier now to have them use the touchscreen to flip from photo to photo, and to zoom in and out to see themselves and whether the shot is worth keeping. In terms of photo quality, the highlight is the improved dynamic range of the new 30MP sensor. Click the link in description below for more details.